Hello there, Julian from Julian Tech TM, and today we'll be doing something special, which is Instagram pick my PC. I will ask you all things like, you want Intel or AMD? You get what I mean, right? But before we get into that, I want to thank our sponsors for today, Clef. They provided us the C920 Gen 4 NVMe SSD and the C720 Gen 3 NVMe SSD. I'm going to test that out with the system that you guys helped me pick, but there is one problem. The NVMe SSD did came, but somehow it's misplaced. I'm sorry, Clem. This is so unprofessional of me, but you know what? I'm gonna bear with the consequence. I'm gonna pay another set of NVMe SSDs. And it's a 2TB Gen 4 NVMe SSD. A 2TB, it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, we're gonna go get that first and probably a PC case because I need a new PC case. I have everything else around already, but I need a PC case and the NVMe SSD. So let's go. Okay, here's the first option. Should I get my PC case from Aftershock or from Simlim Square? Mm. You can see that, and then we just wait. But yeah, I still have to get my SSD from Aftershock. So I'm gonna have to go Aftershock and hopefully y'all pick Aftershock that so that I don't have to travel all the way to Simlim Square. But today is your day. If you're gonna pick Simlim Square, I will travel to Simlim Square. Let's go! Hi. Okay, I'm at Aftershock. I got my NVMe SSD, which I lost in my room. I got, I'll, try, I'll try to find it. Maybe do a giveaway, okay? But yeah, uh, the results are in for the Instagram story and you guys want me to get the PC case at Simlim Square. So I can't get it here. I can't go home yet. I'm gonna go to Simlim Square. Okay, I did another poll to shop at VPC or Trip Pack. And it seems like you guys chose Trip Pack. So off to Trip Pack. Okay, here I am at Trip Pack. Hello. Looking for case. I think we can go for either like tech wear, which is very common, or like be quiet. Okay, decided on the Be Quiet Pure Base 500 DX, and they also give free LED strips for NZXT. Thank you, brother. Okay, back from Aftershock and Simlim Square with my NVMe SSDs and my case. So the reason why I don't have any like choices for the NVMe SSDs is because instead of one or the other, I'm gonna use both. I hope I can find the NVMe SSDs and if I find it, I'll give it away, okay? I'll give it away. Ah, so frustrating. But yeah, you know what? We have the case. Let's do the next few parts. We'll start with the CPU. Okay, you guys are gonna help me choose the CPU. I have Intel and Ryzen. I got R9 and i9s. So let me know. Actually, I got a few more. I will write down the, the specs, okay? I will write down the specs. For the CPU, you guys chose, like a majority of you chose AMD and specifically the 5950X, the more expensive one. I don't have a lot of choice for motherboard, so I wish we had the B570, but you know, B550 is actually pretty all right. No, no problems there lah. You still can overclock with B550, okay? It's fine. So the motherboard I have is the MSI Mac B550 Tomahawk. It has everything you need from a motherboard. It has Type-C. It has Gen 4 NVMe SSD, which you know, very important because of Clef sponsor, right? Okay. Put the CPU in. Close. Close. So next option we have is RAM. I mean, because it's sponsored by Clef, we're gonna use Clef RAM. But the question is, RGB or non-RGB? RGB RAM, which is this one, or non-RGB? Ah, ah, RGB or non-RGB, huh? Majority of you also pick the RGB RAM. So I have the Clef Crest X RGB 16 gigabytes or rather, 2 times 8 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz. And this is CL18. So the profile for this RAM is quite high. So if you're using like um, air cooler, you don't need to be a bit careful. So second and fourth slot. <sighs> Not bad looking RAM, man. It looks better in real life than in pictures. I like. I like. So for the NVMe SSD, of course, we are using Clef NVMe SSD. I actually wanted to give your options whether to use Gen 3 or Gen 4, but you know, I have both. So this is the C920 Gen 4 NVMe SSD. 2 terabytes. So why did I get the 2 terabyte instead of the 1 terabyte? It's because the 2 terabyte has a faster write speed than the 1 terabyte. Got the film for the thermal pads. The next M.2 NVMe SSD is the C720 Gen 3 NVMe SSD, 1 terabyte. There is difference in speed also, but the difference is from the 500 GB and the 1 terabyte. So 1 terabyte is the max 
right read and write speeds. NVMe SSD installed. So usually I put the cooler first, but you know what? We're gonna do something different. We put the case. So for the case, you guys pick the Be Quiet case 500DX. There you go. Uh, it is a tight fit. Okay, CPU cooler. Should I do air cooling? Or oh, water cooling? I have one water cooling like, like there. I, I... So for the CPU cooler, you guys vote for water cooling. So I have the MSI Mac Core Liquid 24R. Liquid cooling. If you have a PSU that is modular, Thank God y'all helped me pick a modular PSU. This is a hack that you can do. Put the CPU power pins first. Especially if you want to put your radiator on the top and your case doesn't have a lot of space. And especially because my hands are short and fat. Yeah, they're short and fat. CPU cable. Put in the CPU power. And now we put the radiator. Double base, we do X method. Not my best. But it will do. Don't forget to take out the film. Uh. The film. <sighs> uh, very important. Remember to crisscross on your screwing because you don't want to tighten one part too tight. Okay. Sweet lah. Okay, next one will be the PSU. Okay, the PSU is, is either modular or not modular. I have a Super Flower, I have an EVG. Okay, for the PSU, would you all rather have the Super Flower, uh, non modular, 750 watt, or the EVGA, also 750 watt. Both are 80 plus gold, but this is fully modular. This was closer, I think at 60%. So this is the EVGA Supernova 750GA. It has 10 year warranty. Fun fact, VPC actually gave this to me. Uh, shout out to VPC, shout out to Trade Pack. Definitely shout out to Clef for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Clef. <laughs> okay, so you put it here. Oh, okay, next up, GPU. Ah, we got NVIDIA or AMD. I almost have all the AMD GPUs, also all the NVIDIA GPUs. So please vote. A majority of your pick NVIDIA for the GPU and more specifically, the RTX 3090. So I have the MSI Gaming Trio X. RTX 3090. This is a big boy. Might need a GPU stand for this. Here we go. GPU stand. So I didn't show how I edited it in, but you can see it's a it's a heavy boy. There's a lot of sack. So that's where this comes in. Everything is added in. Uh, I'm gonna test it out before I do any cable management because you know if I cable management and then not working, all the cable management must come out. And that's the no go. That is a pwah pwah. Okay, moment of truth. Whoop. Oh, one light not working. Ta-da! Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That is something. So what happened was two of the eight pins was not in properly. It is hard to film and build a PC at the same time. I still cannot lay. Is it turned off? No way. Oh! Yes! We got it. Okay. The PC is done. Ah. Before I get to the benchmark, there is one more poll that you guys vote for. Which is to have more or less RGB. And you guys voted for more. Even though I don't really like it. But you know what? You asked for it, I do. In summary, you guys voted for the best of the best components out there in the market right now. We got the RTX 3090 with the Ryzen 9 5950X paired with Clef C920 NVMe SSD and C720 NVMe SSD Gen 4 and Gen 3 respectively. This PC is top class. I got a lot of these components before the price hike, but let me calculate the price of this PC if I were to get it today. So here's the breakdown, okay, I got my list. RAM, $159. CPU cooler, $140. Motherboard, $250. Case, $137. PSU, $160. Clef C920, 2TB for $500. Clef C720, 1TB for $200. The CPU, Ryzen 9 5950X. $1,250 and the RTX 3090 MSI, okay, this, this card is like no stop. 
cost $4,960. Let me compose myself. Which brings us to a total cost of $7,764. Oh, it's not even like Thread Reaper or anything. So the results of the benchmark of this PC is outstanding. Do you expect anything less? Like, you can't go wrong with this, man. I mean, this is just the best of the best and the benchmark shows it is the best of the best. But there's one thing different from this PC than the other PCs I have ever featured, which is Windows 11. Yes, Windows 11 is out and direct storage is in. It's supposed to reduce loading times for games and also boot up times for games. So the Clef C920 and C720 can really shine in this area. Loading up Shadow of the Tomb Raider with C920 and C720 with Windows 11 gets faster boot times and faster loading times. But weirdly, the C720 is slightly faster than the C920. So I tested it on another game, Gears of War 5. With this game, I can also compare it with the Xbox Series X. And yeah, both NVMe SSDs are a little slower than the Xbox Series X, but a lot better than the Windows 10 version. And the C720 is a little faster than the C920, which doesn't make sense because Gen 4 should be faster than Gen 3, right? So I benchmark both NVMe SSDs separately. And the results say it all. Even though the C920 is up to speed, stated on the marketing material, which is read speeds of 7,000 megabytes per second and write speeds of 6,850 megabytes per second, which are insane numbers by the way. The last four speeds are more accurate as to how the SSD will run in real-world application. You can see the speed of both NVMe SSDs are quite similar. And the C720 Gen 3 even beats the C920 Gen 4 in write speed. But do note, these are just synthetic benchmark. Doesn't mean that it's actually better, better. I'm very impressed with Clef C720 Gen 3 NVMe SSD. I think one, because of its performance and two, because of the value. And it's not like the C920 Gen 4 NVMe SSD is bad or anything. I just believe there is no application software or games that can utilize the Gen 4 technology yet or any PCIe 4 technology yet. Not yet, at least. All in all, this video was really fun to do. This actually looks super, super good. And I'm not a big fan of RGB but not bad. I really like it. Special thanks once again to Claire for sponsoring this video and providing the C920 and C720 NVMe SSD which I lost. If you choose to get their NVMe SSDs, you will get a free software called Acronis True Image Software. It's a data utilization software. They also provide offers and bundles with Clef RAM and NVMe SSDs. If you want to learn more, details are in the description save you some money you know if you need ram and you need nvme ssds anyway go check it out go support clef because they have been helping this channel out so much it's supporting us at all you know also again like i said if i find the nvme ssds around i will do a giveaway so i don't know just like the video subscribe comment something and i guess i'm done